Smith Joy Design back here, part two, working on this band. Um, as you can see, I got me some uh, stage in here. I can get up on, climb around. We got here, we got a metal barn. It's got metal studs. So I'm going to start up there on the barn itself and try to get that band on. What I'm going to have to do is go up there and measure them metal studs. They're four foot on center. And then I'm going to take that measurements. I'm going to transfer that to a board and go ahead and pre-drill it. So once I get up there, I can self-tap right into it. Let's give it a shot. measurements going to transfer them a piece of paper there's where my 16 foot ends these 16 foot boards so we'll get work on this one section first all right let's go grab a board and transfer our measurements over and then we'll go ahead and lay it out 16 on a center two for our rafters time to lay it out lay it out mark it then i gotta pre-drill it for these two and a half inch self tappers that we're going to be using to uh, connect it to the metal studs my uh, 16 inch center for my rafters I want to see if it falls on any of these because if it does I'm gonna have to reset the head recess the head of these self tappers in there not to mess me up maybe we'll get lucky we got lucky the only one we're gonna have to recess the head on is down at the end where it starts and just want to give you a quick tip so you see that it's red 16 should go 32 when you want to go everyone every 16 inches is red and you want to go 16 on the center you mark 15 and a quarter you go three quarters before that red every mark three quarters before that red draw your line put your x on that side boom that'll put it 16 on center because you're Two by six is an inch and a half wide. Split that in half, that's three quarters. We're in good shape. You wanna make sure this is right because you're gonna mirror this on the other side where your band goes on your poles. You're gonna lay it out exactly the same way from left to right. That way when you put your rafters in there, boom, everything's nice and square. All right guys. Let's put this up there.
I got it right. Let's see. Busting it open. Dead man right here on our post. So we put a walkway this way so we can get up there and eventually measure out our post and, and cut our post off and, and get our top band on this side. Anyhow, that's what we're going to do. I know the pitch of my roof is a 312 pitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut me a two by six, 312 on it, end of it, put it up to that band, I'm gonna run it down to my post. We're gonna hold it up there and get a mark on our post so we know where to cut that off. Uh, once we get that mark, then we're gonna start cutting our posts and notching them out to put our band on. And my top band right here, and I'm gonna go past our post all right so the end of the post is 77 we're going to cut it we're just going to go ahead and run about eight foot just to give us plenty extra it's just going to be a rough cut until we actually figure out exactly what we need let's go cut it all right like i said before i know that our roof's a 312 pitch this is uh Swanson speed square right here is your three you line that up right there on your edge mark it so you got your three right at the edge that's your angle you're going by what that means is every foot you're dropping three inches so we're going to cut that that's what we need right there thing we're going to do we got our mark on this post we're going to cut it off and then we'll take a level with a board we'll mark all our other ones cut them then we'll notch them for our band see if my skill saw is deep enough to cut this and get a little bit better cut than this chainsaw might not be if not we'll come back to the chainsaw all right i'll be back what i'm going to do is get a 
sawzall, cut the rest of it with the sawzall. I think that's a little bit more controlled than that chainsaw. Nice, easy cut, uh, more precise. All right, that's how we're going to do it, guys. Like I said, now we're going to take a board with a level, we'll get a mark on all our other posts. thing is got to do a little notching for our front band let me go grab my measuring tape need speed square and a pencil see you soon folks our next step is we're going to notch every one of these poles in the front we're using a two by six the width of this two by six is five and five eighths go down five and five eighths make a mark we're going to go an inch and a half deep we're going to cut, notch each one of these out. Our band will sit right in there flush. by sixes get us a measurement go ahead and get them put up here and then uh, we'll have that complete and after that we get them nailed up tacked up here come back with our uh, metal straps and our galvanized bolts bolt everything together
measure from inside to inside the post, we're going to put a, another double band here. So inside to inside, we'll get our measurement. And we got one, two, three, four of these we'll cut. And then we'll put them in here and nail them in. We'll get to measuring. We'll get after it. We got our top band on. Now time to put our straps on. Galvanized. Got our hardware. First off, we're going to put our band up here where we want it. And then we're going to make a mark and then we're going to drill the holes out. Go right on a knot too. That ain't fun.
That's it for part two on how to build a lean-to to an assistant instructor. We got the band on, everything strapped down. Join us for part three, getting the rafters on and installing the roof. Anyhow, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Take care, build on. Oh yeah, and give props to my little man for helping us out.